is Casey Bergatter, a resident senior fellow for the Governance Project at Think Tank R Street Institute, joins me live now from Washington. So in his testimony today, Sondland has affirmed that there was a quid pro quo with Ukraine, and he suggests that this was explicitly ordered by the president through his conduit, the man he relied upon, mainly relied upon in this matter, Rudy Giuliani. How damaging is this for the president? It's incredibly explosive, uh, it, particularly the opening statement that we heard what seems like seven days ago, but it was a matter of hours ago, where uh, Ambassador Sondland amended his testimony that he gave behind closed doors and, and pretty much gave everything Repu our Democrats were hoping that he would in pretty good soundbite fashion. Things like uh, he was working at the express uh, direction of the president of the United States. He even said that uh, we were after everyone's been asking the simple question, was this a quid pro quo? And he said with a resounding yes. So the, the, the facts are there. The ambassador uh, that was involved in a lot of these meetings that we've been hearing about with a lot of these different players, uh, he was in the room a lot of these times. He was uh, facilitating these requests and he was pretty clear uh, that the aid was conditioned. He called it his presumption, but he made pretty clear the linkage uh, from President Trump, to maybe through Rudy Giuliani, but ultimately that made it to the Ukrainians that uh, they had to play ball with the investigation of Burisma, Biden's, and even 2016 uh, to get what they want. How damning is it that he says everyone was in the loop from Pompeo to Pence to Mulvaney? They were all aware of this pressure campaign. Right. This was a huge re revelation. And uh, I think the net was cast a little bit broader than uh, even the, the top Democrats on the panel uh, were even hoping for. He, he named names and they were big players from Ambassador Bolton to Pompeo to Mulvaney to Vice President Pence, who, who's kind of been on the outskirts of this, to, of course, President Trump and Rudy Giuliani. So every name uh, was, was mentioned today directly involved. And he said over and over again that everyone was in the loop. That's the soundbite that you're going to hear over and over uh, because the ambassador says that this came from the highest levels and, and people were, were working at the express direction of the president of the United States. It is indeed historic testimony that we have heard today from Washington. Thank you very much, Casey Berger, to appreciate it. And as we've been hearing there, explosive and damning testimony from the